Nobody has to accept me. I'm not looking for your acceptance. But you better treat me the same way you treat everybody else. That's how we live in this country. Except Republicans don't want tolerance or coexistence. They want LGBTQ discrimination and genocide. You don't have to love me. You don't have to like me. You can think I'm the devil incarnate. But you better treat me like a decent human being because that's how I treat you even though you don't believe that I have the right to exist. Yeah, funny how that works. You don't see gay and trans people trying to take away straight people's rights. Maybe it's about time that we started doing that, you know? When you have two or three days of this kind of chaos of people screaming at the top of their lungs outside a school that read a book with one sentence in it that said, yeah, Guess what? Families can include two moms and two dads. By the way, at the little discussion at the school after that, as soon as the book was over, one of the little girls sitting at my knees said, I have two mommies. But a little boy on my other side said, I have five grandmas. Oh, but you can't talk about the existence of LGBTQ relationships because you know, that's indoctrination and grooming. Put the shoe on the other foot. Imagine if I were to say that about straight people's existence or your relationships. I am very tired of having young people and adults in the LGBT community hear uh, three days of yelling and screaming about this. What do you think that did to them? What do you think that did to every gay teacher, every gay custodian, every gay worker in this city, every gay kid? What do you think that did to them? It made them afraid. It made them afraid. How dare you make them afraid because you are! Let's protest straight people. Y'all think I'm joking, but I'm actually serious. For years, we were ostracized, forced to the fringes of society, murdered even. Y'all should be lucky that we're seeking equality and not revenge. So no, I'm serious, let's protest straight people. Now I don't think I would actually ever do that, but my point is, why is freedom so one-sided? Yet our Supreme Court just gave a green light to discriminate based on sexual orientation on the last day of Pride Month. At the Supreme Court, a First Amendment ruling with far-reaching consequences. The court's conservative supermajority declaring that Denver area website designer Lori Smith has a constitutional right to refuse to design wedding websites for gay couples. The court holding that Colorado's public accommodations law, which requires businesses that serve the general public to serve all equally, does not apply in cases where the product or service being offered expresses a message. So let me get this gay. I mean straight, because, you know, you can't say gay anymore. Our right-wing Supreme Court has now allowed discrimination if your product or service expresses a message. Okay, first off, what product or service does not express a message? Second, why is it so much about the business owners freedom of expression when public accommodation laws are set in place to protect the equity of access for all people and customer service. And third, this opens the floodgates for all different types of discrimination, no matter what and who you are. What would stop a business owner who sells a product or a service that expresses a message from putting a sign up in the window that says whites only or straights only? Yeah, think about that. Then put the shoe on the other foot. If a business owner sells a product or service that expresses a message that disagrees with a Christian person or a Muslim or a Jewish person. They are able to put a sign in the window that says, no religious people allowed. Or what about no conservatives allowed? No one with red hats allowed? Y'all, this ruling is the exact opposite of freedom. It is opening the floodgates for all different types of discrimination. Discrimination based on race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, your religion, your abilities. Republicans don't want tolerance or coexistence. They want discrimination because they can't live in a country that values diversity, equity, and inclusion because they fear anything that they are not. Tell me I'm wrong. I will bet my left lung that they are going to expand this to be discrimination based on race. This is some Plessy versus Ferguson separate but equal crap right here. In America, we must stand up against this. And my big takeaway is this. This culture war would not be happening if right-wingers would literally just leave gay and trans people alone. Y'all are sexualizing our community, amplifying the hostility towards our community. When we respond, y'all get pressed. How about you just leave us alone and let's go after the rich, wealthy establishment in Washington. But no, you can't have that because you want to appease your big daddy donors too. My name is Scott Johnson. You can find more of me on my YouTube, which is in the description below, as well as my TikTok, where we have over 70,000 followers. And most importantly, do not forget to smash that subscribe button to the breakdown. Do it for justice.